Hey, what up, homies? It's your boy, Coach Meadow. We're coming to you live from our PS3. This is episode 10 of season 5, week 12, man. We're taking on the TCU Horned Frogs at home. They're unranked, but TCU in that 4-2-5 defense is always a problem. We'll, we'll figure out a way to handle it, but uh, first things first, like the video, comment. I'm not Hollywood yet. I usually respond. Share the video and sub if you're not. So, We've been taking care of things as far as you know winning games recruiting we're pretty much done with our recruiting for the season like we've got a couple of more prospects i think four and we really need all of them yeah we really need the punter i really want chris carter and daniel henderson he'll be a nice uh nice speed back in addition to our backfield harris that's that's for depth but carter i'm in a battle with south alabama and they i think they just jumped me We'll see what happens, but I, th hmm, I want Chris Carter very, very bad. So I'm still behind Bama. I haven't been able to jump them. I mean, there's they're in the SEC, so it's always possible every week they could lose and we jump ahead of them. But this Clemson team, they worry me because they're a team scoring over 50 points a game, averaging over 500 yards of offense. Defense has been, I think, like 250 to 300. They're one of those teams where they play fast and they, they just make you deal with that 99 offense, 99 defense, everything. Like, that's that's a very interesting team I don't want to have to play. Uh, but unfortunately for me, I do still have Oklahoma and Texas down the line. Of course, Texas beat us last year and I am just, ugh, I'm still mad about that read. <laughs> TCU does not lack talent, especially in the backfield. And on their defensive side of the ball, the quarterback is, uh, let's just say, is not very good. It's up, up to uh, Big 12 standards. The receiving core, uh, the offensive line is okay, except I think the, the center position is their, weak, is their weak link. Defensively, they don't have many. Like, they don't have any studs up front, but they've got solid players. And then behind those solid players, okay, I'm a dirty liar, this guy. Obviously, 93 overall, 90, what's that? Oh, acceleration is strength. But he's 249. Like, get out of here. The linebacking core, they're, they're fast, they're aggressive. The secondary, I think they have 390 overall starters. Now, they're short on the outside, but the free safeties and the strong safeties, that's always been the strength of this 4-2-5 uh, defense. And they have guys who can, who can play football. So... I'm expecting us to struggle, but it's usually when we play somebody who's very talented, guys come to play, and when we're playing somebody who's beneath us, I don't know, that sounds bad, but we let them stay in the game. The tail of the tape pretty much says we're talent-wise even. Herbie has us picked to win because we're undefeated, we're number two. Our offense is still eighth in the country, even though we've been struggling lately. Uh, defensively, we're, we're still very good, but once again, TCU also very good. No injuries for either team, which is weird at this point in the season. Obviously, looking at our schedule, we've held it down. Even with the close games, we, we've, been, we've, we've held it down. We're still unbeaten. We still control our own destiny. TCU lost four straight games, all conference opponents. And like I said, the offense is not explosive. So I feel like the way this game is going to go is we're eventually just going to squeeze the life out of them and hopefully pull away in the second half. If we don't, we'll be in a dogfight because that defense is stingy. So we'll see how that how that plays out. Let's get to it. See them. Hopefully, I'm, I'm, I'm expecting corner strike. It's verticals. We had two over there. Come on, Tyler. I'm not, I don't, yeah, I don't need to help. Oh no, they ran screen. Ooh, good. That could have been a late hit. Oh, idea if uh, we're gonna get a good throw on this situation. Is this man free? It was zone blitz. And that's six because I, I don't know why Galloway was falling down. Oh my God. Yeah, it was a zone blitz. <laughs> oh 
Okay. Oh, good, good move, Ryan. That was a good move. That's what you got. You got to just make a guy miss. Ah, oh, yeah, that's right. You know what? We can run by them. Send Henry up the seam. Yeah, we can run by them. And oh, wow, they're coming again. Yeah, just don't take the hit. Okay, so one guy is wrecking our our stuff in the middle of, of their defense. Don't have to cover much more space here. He held on. Okay. Might have to help first Conright because apparently we Okay, he got he beat us inside, but we're not gonna let him beat us across. Zips it to the tight end. Good tackle, good tackle. We got great team speed. Except from our secondary, which or hopefully we're fixing that. Mmm, they're up in. They're doing this. Okay. We've just gotta we've just gotta win and hopefully not lose in the middle so fast. Bit of a win there. Enough where I can make the throw. Well they'll line it up again on third down. Two for two so far on this drive. I forced that. Jesus, I forced that. But I can't figure out why my, why my offensive line was seemingly in my way. What happened? He missed the field. Pow, bro. Oh, my gosh. I, I want to take your scholarship and give it to someone other than you. And these guys is breaking to the corner. And he held on. And once again, is that Wainwright? Wainwright beats uh fakes to the back. And we gave up six. We gave up six. Okay. That's that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. Oh, good win. Good win. Their center is the weak link of their offensive line. And our defensive line at every position, all three guys with their hand down the ground, are a problem. Might get six here. Man, free. Uh-oh, made a miss. Okay, can we can just get in front of this guy? <laughs> just get in front of that guy, bro. Why they won't turn and, like, I don't know. Oh damn it! I have to guess. Okay, no. Nah. Ward might be the guy. I'm watching Conright. We we were on Conright. We're on the screen. And another stop. Good D. Good D. Good D. I do not like our numbers. Uh -oh. Well, I like I like the. I don't like the numbers, but I do like where they were. You're gonna give me, you're off 10 yards, but I'm gonna take that. Corner strike time. I, I don't know if this is man or not. We'll see. All right, it is man. I'm just gonna force this throw because Goss is my best route runner. He's hit immediately. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who anticipatory. Had the best of a catch. There's three people on Jackson. McDonald, you look like my guy. No, Jackson's my guy. Caught end zone for the touchdown. Too much space. That was. They didn't properly carry that across the field. Oh, they actually ran the ball. Yo, come on. The logic when the, when the player changes, don't put me on the guy who has no chance on the tackle. Set to go for it. 
I'm not prepared for anything but run. But they went, I think that was spacing. We were on that. So, run this to the one technique. Oh, good. Hudson Henry, you, you dirty dog. Hudson Henry. That is why he's a first rounder. I know Will just did some athletic stuff. Just ran by a corner. But that all started with Hudson Henry finding somebody and then putting that body on its own ass. Okay, pal. Made Conrad's on the left. Okay. And they get nice yardage on that run. Oh no, okay. Oh no! We weren't prepared. And he oh, dropped it. By the wide out here in the fourth quarter. You know what? He should drop it though. He's not a good football player. <laughs> Dumb. Okay, I think we got Henry on the tight end, on, a, on a safety here. No, we had. Oh man, too much. Too much momentum. The conservative in me, as far as play calling and belief in my defense, not politics. <laughs> I'm a pun it. You can shut down a guy with 4 2 speed. Screen again. Lawson, will you? Here's the halfback oh my gosh. There he goes. And he is Lawson will not turn him right. He must be tired. Because I was holding up, and this dude just, instead of turning, he was just running. He was looping as hard as he could. No Conrad. And they ran it. I was not expecting run, but... Oh, we did that. We really just did that. We really just did that, bro. Defense. Okay, now we're going to spread them out. I'm not going to take the bait. Oh, wow. I got fought off a block and smite my quarterback. Bet. All right, that is a big, strong safety out on Jackson. I'm pretty sure they're in man free. I'm pretty sure this is okay. Just turned their defense on its head. Oh my gosh, the vision. If I was, if I just handed the ball to a 95 speed freshman right there, he would have been bum rumbling, bumbling, stumbling. But because it was Attaway, he kept his composure, kept his feet moving, just churned forward, and put the game away. So, uh, hey, guess what my university has? Take a wild guess, bro. We got class. We classy over here. Mean Green. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA football. Hamis, Hamis, Hamis. We survive. Another one, bro. This is... Uh, I am glad that we don't have injuries. Like, we, we, we've, we've stayed healthy. Because these games... Like, going into the game, okay, you see 5-4. and four, TCU versus 10-0 North Texas. And it's like... North Texas should blow them out. But then the actual talent gap is we're, we're, it's, we're, we're even, we're man for man, we're even. You know, and it's kind of like, okay, their offense, not very impressive. I don't, they're, they're, they're entirely reliant on their uh, offensive line and those running backs. The quarterback and the receiver don't give them much, but of course they had one guy kind of go off and it, it made it tough on us. Uh, defense played good. You know, we once again didn't give up 400 yards. We defended a lot of plays, a lot of runs. They, they kept coming at us. They kept coming at us. Uh, held them to just 226 and only one touchdown through the air. On third down, we were pretty good, pretty good offensively as well. Uh, we were we were pretty balanced, but you know the run. It was hard to run the ball. 
and it was hard to sustain drives because they would just they would have big plays you know a sack here a tackle for loss there we only turned the ball over once it was a poor read that, that, one, that one was not on Galloway Galloway actually played very well considering because they, they they put they touched him up a little bit like Barquette that dude he was coming through sack we got sacked four times but you know Galloway held his poise Performed like the Heisman candidate he is, which I, I think he's fallen out of that. I think the Mal Malusi kid from Clemson has just run away with it because that, that Clemson offense is ridiculous. We talked about that at the beginning of the video. Uh, it was a struggle, especially running the ball. Like there, I just did not want to stay committed to the run. A lot of short completion throws, uh, high percentage throws. Uh, McDonald got off a couple of times. Uh, Foster hit the, the big, he beat the bump, but... For the most part, man, this was a this was a tough game, dude. It was, man, they they Bush got beat again. Like, dude, I I feel like okay, the guy you shouldn't beat is Bush, and he's now becoming <laughs> one of the guys they're beating. Edmund Gray he played his butt off, but we knocked him out. Like he he played his butt off, but we knocked him out. And of course, Conright, like, yo, he bombed Bush Island. I think there's a number of games in a row where Bush is giving up the cheeks and I'm not used to this, this guy here. Three TFLs, two sacks. I made fun of him only being 249. <laughs> oh man, he must have read that press clip and was like, I'm, I'm gonna come out and I'm gonna, I'm gonna put up a uh, I'm gonna put up a performance against these guys in a uh, kicking game. Missed an extra point and a bunny, like a 32 yard field goal. But we got the win. Uh, I assume it's more, it's much more entertaining when the games are close for you guys. For me, it is, it is, oh man, I don't, I, sh I don't have gray hairs. I'm lucky. Mid thirties, no gray hairs, but dude, we're getting good games. We're getting good games. But uh, thank you for watching. Uh, once again, hit the like button, uh, comment. I'm not Hollywood. I usually comment back, share the video. And subscribe if you're not. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next episode. Hey, hi me. Shout out to Pride by Katana for most of the music I use in the vids. Be sure to follow on social media. I follow back. Links to all that info in the description. For more content, be sure to subscribe and click one of the links at the end of the video for more videos. Please continue to watch, like, share, and repeat. Thank you.